Hello and welcome to week 32 of this 52 week series for the Web Pro on what every web administrator needs to know to be successful in this space. My name is Scott Forsyth and today I want to dig in further with application request routing or ARR. Last week we talked about an intro just to understand what ARR is and to set up a basic server farm and today we want to dig in deeper and look at how the bindings work, how you can use multiple different server farms and work together and how ARR works in this regard. So let's recap real briefly to see what the environment looks like and I'm picking up just where we left off last week. We see on this first node, this is our primary ARR node, we have a server farm called MyFarm1 and it's set up with just the basics in URL rewrite up here at the server level. We see this ARR MyFarm1 load balance with some basic settings and on the back end nodes we have um, our node 1 which we call DC and our load 2 which we call uh, WebO2 and these have IS set up and they're listening on the back end. So now if we go to the first node again what we want to dig into further is up here and I mentioned last week our three touch points. So the first request comes in and let's start using www.contosa.com and it comes in here to this and it binds here. We call this a first touch point and so our binding for contosa.com and this is .net.com right there, that binding. And then our second touch point is ARR leverages URL rewrite right here and this is what we're going to be talking about today. URL rewrite and it's catching. Now currently this is catching for everything with no conditions. So every request is going to come in and route to our third touch point which is right here, my farm one Now we want this simple but my complaint with having the routing rules set up for us automatically is it oversimplifies it and it's really just made for kind of one virtual IP, one VIP only and so what we're going to do is we're going to turn off this here use URL rewrite to inspect incoming packets we're going to turn this off and here's a shortcut by the way to URL rewrite but I'm not going to do it because it it hides knowing where it is so just for the sake of watching my mouse clicks uh, let's we'll go directly to it here and notice now it's not here. So if I were to go back to contosa.com, which did serve up, uh, tells me which node we're on. Now I refresh it, and it says the resource can't be found. And that's because it's being handled here on this local node, contosa.com. So of course info doesn't exist on this server. Instead it exists on the other server. Oh, sorry, let me show you one thing real briefly just for anyone coming in for this is the first week is just notice here, here's where ARR is and here's what it looks like, is we're having ARR, it sits at this position here. We have a request come from the web through ARR, which is then going to load balance the request to the back end nodes. So the server we're working on right now is this one here. Okay, so what we want to do is let's set up our own rule and give us the flexibility we want. So we're going to add a rule, we'll create a blank one, and let's call this vipontoso.com and we're going to say where it matches the pattern anything in the URL, we'll cover this even more in depth, you have full flexibility, this is what's so nice and so our condition. Now if you've watched my previous conditions on URL rewrite, I've kind of set us up for this to understand this more and we can use these for all of the load balancing. In this case HTTP host is the domain name and we're going to say for right now let's say www.contoso.com but I'm going to come back in a, a minute because this is regular expressions so it's not quite as true as it should be but this will work and we're going to say if it's contoso.com then we're going to route to server farm and we're going to route to, of course we only have one choice, my farm one Okay, so now we're going to apply that and notice that what we're going to have now is contosa.com info, see now I refresh and it works, whereas acme.com pointing to an IP on the same server does not. It can't be found, it's not being routed, it's because it's being handled by this one and it's not being handled by URL rewrite. So we have a different VIP for contosa.com. Let's set up one more for Acme and we're going to say vip acme.com and we're going to say everything. Our condition is going to be HTTP host and www.acme.com and we're going to, well, 
in this case we don't have a second server farm so we'll just leave it at farm one for the moment and we'll hit apply and if we come back here and refresh notice it now works so we have the VIP is going to Acme.com and you can see I've kind of faked it actually it's going back to the exact same site on the back node and I'll cover that in more detail in a future week but for now we can just kind of tell which or pretend we're going to different sites on the back end by this so let's go back to our rules and set them up properly but you can see at, at a high level we have two VIPs and we can just handle them based on the rules in here we can determine which server farm to go to in fact let's do this a little bit better let's create a new server farm and let's go back and forth let's just all we're going to do is we're going to route it to google.com and we'll notice how this works so notice it doesn't have to be on the same subnet you can go wherever you want for these even outside your data center even hit other countries if you want now we're not going to use the rule that it wants to create for us that's my kind of whole point here is that when it creates it for us it can mess it up also what I find is if you use this to create it if you customize it and then later on make a tweak on your server farm it will delete your customizations so absolutely I recommend don't let this create it for you we need to manage it ourselves okay so now we have acme.com and actually let's rename my farm to contosa.com so we know which each of these are and we're going to go back here to our second touch point URL rewrite and now you're going to notice that after I rename that it lost our binding so we're going to route to server farm contosa.com and we're going to do acme as well and we're going to route to acme.com okay so now each of these are bound so if I go to acme.com and notice it and now Google does a redirect when you hit its home page with a different domain name but we see that it worked perfectly so it actually forwarded that request on to Google and actually if we kept this it doesn't do a redirect if we do something bogus here like info.aspx notice it maintains this so we actually proxy that request to Google and it's coming back again through this particular server so now let's look a little bit further at these rules now acme.com we're saying every URL but if you want there's some common things people can do here for example in the patterns you could do uh, for example this could be our demo and or you know different kind of patterns that people will have you know this would be dev only or test some people will start with something like that and then in our conditions what we really want is because this is regular expressions we need this to be truer and I encourage you to go back and watch the week on regular expressions there if you have not yet or if you're not familiar with it and a dot is a special character so we need to do a slash dot makes it a literal dot and we want with www and without so what we're going to do is we're going to make that optional there so now the www is optional and this now is truer so what we've done is we said anything with this particular domain name now if you want to bind by IP address you can do that too and a server address is what you could do and you can match the pattern of 206.72.117.30 and this would work if you want to be more specific so it depends now if depending on your situation you may have multiple IPs using this and I'll cover more situations of that upcoming and you may want to leave this as generic as possible so it depends on your situation how specific or how generic you need this to be and so let's test this still and notice it doesn't work and the reason for that is actually that server IP is not the one that I have bound to acme.com so let's remove this again and apply and refresh now it works so you can see how that rule comes into play and how important it is and we need to fix our contosa.com too and so again we're going to come in with HTTP host but you can use any URL rewrite you want for example look, look how many options you have here you can do it based on the clients IP you can have I mean document types you can have uh, you can have browser types the browser agent is also available for you so you can have if you want to have your mobile applications go to one and the other go to another 
and you can do that without even letting them know a different URL if you prefer to do that. And whether it's HTTPS or not, uh, you know, there's your user agent there. So there's many, op and of course your ports and the server names and the client IPs and, and you name it. It's all available for you to do in real time. Very performant. URL rewrite is extremely fast and it can handle this no problem. In fact, in terms of numbers, I've streamed 400 megabits per second through in one example of a site and it didn't phase it. CPU hardly moved. CPU was pretty well at zero. And of course, you use 400 megabits on the network adapter. Uh, in fact, in and out, 400 on each end. You need to consider that if you have really high traffic. But URL rewrite and AR handled it with no effort whatsoever. And so now we have this proper rule for Contoso. We'll apply, and like anything, we want to test. And notice that it works. So what we've done here is we have set up our own rules rather than allow it to use it. And notice you have full flexibility in terms of what decisions you make to determine between the URLs. And don't worry, it's not just the IP and the domain name. You can also use the URL, query string, anything else that you want to do. So thanks for tuning in. And there's more coming. We have a lot more to talk about regarding ARR in these upcoming weeks. Hope you have a great week. Thank you.